Hey everyone. Today, during this episode, we're going to go over Evil Portal on the Wi Fi Pineapple Mark 7, and then how exactly to get started with custom portals, and then how to move forward with downloading more customized portals. So, to begin, if you haven't already, go ahead and go to the Modules tab, Manage, Get Available Modules, and download the Evil Portal module. It should stay sometime around this video to be version 1.1. It'll usually either be near the end or the very top. So once you have that installed, uh, you can come over, look back on your modules tab. And in case you didn't know, you can go ahead and pin it as well. That way it has its own icon. And once you click on that, it'll go ahead and open this up. If it's your first time opening it up, it'll ask you to install the dependencies. If it's not, it should present you with a screen just like this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create another test portal. So uh, in our case, we'll just do the basic portal. And we'll call this testy. And now at the very bottom, you should see that it created a brand new test portal called testy. And to use this test portal, all you have to do is click the activate button. And what it'll do is it'll update the actions you can perform, which will be download, preview, and view log. Now to actually see what it's going to look like, we can go ahead and start the web server by clicking on start web server and then clicking on preview. And this is the base portal that'll give you. So if you're thinking that you're gonna be able to use phishing pages straight out of downloading the module, that's not correct. There's two ways you can do this. You can either download pre-built uh, evil portals, or you can build it yourself. Because this is exactly what it's gonna give you when you initially install evil portal. So as we can tell from here, all it's doing is presenting us with our host name, MAC address, in our internal IP address. Uh, it's not giving us our host or Mac, just our internal. And so once you sign into an actual legitimate phishing page, it'll perform the same action where it'll authorize you and it'll forward you over, grant you access that you can actually use internet. That way when you deploy out in the field, people who actually go through your phishing page and then sign in, they'll actually be granted access to the internet versus just being dumped after. So what we're gonna do now, is I'm gonna introduce you to this really cool set of portals that I've been using for a couple of years now. And so KBuyFlow uh, manages a bunch of evil portals and he's been going for a few years now. Yeah, about, yeah, as you can see, the last update to his license was four years ago. Uh, and he did just update these as well a couple months ago. So as you can tell on his at github.com slash KBuyFlow slash evil portals, uh, not only does he show you how to install the portals, but you can also come down and see what we're going to be able to use, just like all these. All right, so if you don't have Git installed because you're using Windows or you just don't have it, uh, another way to do this would be to download the package, right? So we'll just go ahead and we will download as a zip. And then we'll show this after it confirms it. Then I'll unpack that real quick. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use SCP real quick too. All right, what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're going to SCP our portals over to the Wi-Fi Pineapple by typing SCP-R and we're going to do portals. That way, uh, the dash R is for cursor. That way, anything that's in a directory below portals is going to be carried over also. We're going to send that to root at 172.16.42.1. And that's going to be root slash portals. And we're going to accept that. Put in our password. And everything should sent over. All right, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and move back over to our Wi-Fi Panaples UI. And we can refresh the page. And after it's done refreshing, we should see a bunch of new portals loading. Which they don't seem to have done. So, okay, so for some reason it didn't copy all the way. So what we'll do is we'll secure shell into it. And I'll show you how to do this real quick.
And what we're going to do is we're going to cheat into portals. It's going to look like it made another directory, which it did. So we're going to move all from portals to here, okay? Actually, we want to type it like this. We're going to move everything from portals to here, okay? Why is it not liking me today, man? Okay. Now we have everything in there, right? So recursive, don't use that with move, obviously. All right, so if we come back, actually, let's delete this folder real quick. So we're going to do arm-r since it's directory portals. There we go. So come back over here, refresh again, and it should load everything again. All right, awesome. So let's go ahead and deactivate testy. And as you guys can tell, we now have all of these beautiful portals, right? So let's say we want to mess with uh, Google Login. We can go ahead and click Activate. And after we preview this, look at that. We have a login that looks just like Google's login page, right? And if you guys don't know how this works, so on the previous Wi-Fi panels, uh, Evo Portal would actually send you an alert through the little alert icon on the top right, right up here. Now uh, they get sent to logs. So if we go ahead and we preview this and we put in a fake email at email and put in a fake password, one, two, three, and we hit next. It's going to go ahead and say you have not been authorized. That's going to send you that every time unless you update this yourself. Uh, and if we go ahead and click on view log, as you can tell, it gives us the email, password, hostname, Mac, and IP. Uh, once you guys actually do this not on the Wi-Fi Panapple user interface, once you, if you do it on like a phone or another computer, it'll actually print out the hosting of the Mac for you. So we're going to head and click Cancel. And by the way, you can also download those if you want. Uh, and I believe that downloads the entire portal. Uh, so what we're going to do now uh, is just go over how to view the logs in an alternative way. So let's say for some reason you can't access uh, this actual website in your directory. What you can do is, so once you list out all your portals, right? So if you collected something through the Google login, you can CD into the Google login directory. And if you print everything else out, you'll notice there's no logs, right? Uh, that's because the logs are hidden. So if you print it out like that, you can now tell right here that there are in fact logs. So what we can do instead is we can tail that uh, and it'll continuously print out the logs as they're collected. So if we preview this again, put in another, and we submit that as well, you can see that we have a, another submission. And that's exactly how you can go about doing that. So if you guys want to download uh, KBFLOW's portals, I'll go ahead and link it in the footer of the video. If you guys have any questions or concerns on how to set it up or you run into any issues, let me know and I can pass those on. Uh, if you just have any general questions on how to actually set this up or you have any difficulties, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, and as always, like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.